Hey guys, Steven here back with another video and today I'll be teaching you the push slide transition as seen in the Marvels of the Defenders. In the TV show, what they do is a bit more advanced, but the basis of the transition is very similar. It's actually very easy, so let me just get started. The first thing you want to do is apply a transition to the clips. So under video transitions, under your effects tab right here, you want to go to slide and then push. And then you just want to drag the transition onto your clips right here. So I have three clips and you want to drag it between the ending of one clip and the start of another clip. So now you want to zoom in onto the timeline right here. And as you can see, the transition does not occur right in the middle where the two clips meet. Instead, what happens is the transition starts at the beginning of the second clip. To change this, you want to click on the transition, the yellow part. You want to go to your effects control panel and you want to go under alignment right here and select center at cut. I'm gonna do that right here as well on the second clip. And if you guys just see right here, it pushes the other clip sideways. If you wanna change the direction that the second clip is moving, you can select one of these arrows right here. So you can go south to north, that's what they do in the defenders. Or you can do east to west, north to south, west to east, whatever you want. I'm gonna do south to north just because that's what they do in the TV show. And I just kind of wanna replicate that. So you can see here, the bottom is pushing the top and that's really cool. So right there is the simplest thing you can do with this transition. If you wanna make it look a bit better, you can add some sort of motion blur. Usually that's what makes transitions look better. And in the TV show, they do this as well. So what you wanna do is search up directional blur. It's under video effects, blur and sharpen. And then you just want to first actually make a new adjustment layer and you want to make this adjustment layer the same length as the transition so press C and then click on the ending part and click on where you want to cut it and delete this so as you can see here the adjustment layer is as long as the transition and now we want to drag the directional blur right here so now what you want to do is click on the adjustment layer right here go to your effects control panel you want to find the middle of the transition so let's just zoom in on here so like the very middle is right here and you want to set a keyframe. First, you want to determine the settings, of course. For the direction, this is the angle. So I'm going to set it as zero just because I want the blur to go up and down, and that's what zero is going to do. If you want the blur to go sideways, you might have to do 360 or 180, but in my case, I'm fine with zero. And the blur length is how strong the blur is. So I'm going to set a keyframe right here, and you want to make it stronger or as weak as you want. Doesn't really matter. I'm going to do it like that. Maybe like 30 is fine. And you can see if I change the direction, it obviously changes the angle of the blur. I'm gonna set it at zero. The reason I wanna set it right in the middle is because I want the effect to slowly fade in. I don't want the blur to just happen out of nowhere. I'm gonna show you guys what I mean right here. So if I just play it and go in, right when the blur happens, it just somehow just appears, right? I don't want that to happen. I want it to happen naturally. So instead what I can do is I can now set the blur length right here at zero. So at the very beginning at zero, or I can reset the parameter right here. It does the same thing. And basically what this does is it fades in. It starts at zero and then it fades into 30. And then I also want it to fade out because I don't want it to just go from blurry to not blurry out of nowhere, right? So click on the adjustment learn again, go to the very end. So right here, and let's just reset the parameter again. So what this will do is it will slowly fade into the blur and then fade out. So let's just play this. And yeah, so let me just play the entire thing and I'll do the same thing to this side with the adjustment layer. And let's just play. This is actually going sideways. So what I would do here is I change the blur direction. So what I'll do is I'll set it as 360, the beginning 360 and the end 360. The only thing you wanna change up is the bottom, the blur length. You don't want to change the direction because it's always going the same way. It isn't like it's blurring up and down at the beginning and then sideways. That would be very awkward. So you want to keep the direction the same throughout, but you want to change the blur length. So you can see the settings right here. The blur length only changes. So let's just play it. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the thumbs up button and subscribe. If you want to know every time I upload a video, hit the bell icon. And yeah, my name is Steven and I'll see you in the next one.